hey my pisces guys welcome back to my channel if you are a new subscriber thank you so much for joining us here on my channel i hope that you'll stay a while and check out some of the fun videos that i have posted on here um if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to check out um the videos i appreciate you guys know that i love and appreciate you so guys i thought it would be fun because i really wanted to do like a love reading for you guys um and it's so funny because I always say that I always set the intention, right, of what I of what I want to do. Like, um, like before, I think like last week when I posted a video, I wanted to do a love reading again, and spirit guided me to do like a world of prosperity reading. And I'm like, okay, you know, I I literally have to do what's being told and what's being guided to me because I don't I don't get the say, right? I literally have to go with what I'm being told because that's the message that needs to be heard at the time, right? I'm a firm believer in that. And I'm a firm believer, like I said, if something comes out in reverse or something falls on the floor or it goes over here or over there, I literally get it because I've already learned that it's a message that needs to be sent out. So I attempted to really tap in to try to do a love reading. And even though this isn't particularly all about love, a little bit of love did come in, but it's almost like spirit keeps wanting us to get everything in check for ourselves first which I, i'm literally having chills right now because they're like like telling me like yeah um let them know they want us to focus on raising our elevation which is so funny because that's the card that i pull for love but they want us to focus on raising our vibrations elevating ourselves and getting all of our stuff in check like our finances our creativity our ideas that we have going anyway bottom line is I attempted to do a full love reading like a full love spread they wouldn't let me do it it's almost like they gave a little bit of um hope for like love or whatever but they it, it all you'll see you'll see they're like speaking through me like Melissa just get it out okay so I pulled these cards okay which I think is hilarious because they're all pentacles which I think is hilarious I pulled these cards. These are the three cards that wanted to come out. Guys, this is my Mystic Mondays deck, which I freaking love. I pulled these three cards, okay? And the overall message basically is that abundance is coming. We have abundance coming. There's things that are in our minds that are coming to fruition. Like I said, whether it's uh, creative projects, businesses, um, maybe going back to school, learning new things, you know, just basically elevating yourself. The main message is that they want us to focus on gaining financial stability first because they're saying that the love will follow because once we're financially stable and we've set something for ourselves right like we've just basically come into our own as our own powerful being the love is going to follow because once you do all that it's almost like it resonates this aura you know that people just want to be around and then you'll start to notice you'll probably if you're single you know you'll probably start to get love offers you know or if you're in a relationship your relationship will get better you'll elevate yourself so the love card that I pulled was elevation, okay? And I'm going to read it to you and then I'm going to go into a deeper message because it really means a lot. It says, you are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love, which a lot of us are doing. I know I'm doing it because I'm ready for love to come in as well. You know what I mean? I've never been more ready. But that's basically what they want us to know. I'm going to read the message in a minute, but with the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles, basically they're just saying we're tapping into our creativity. We're tapping into our inspiration. Abundance is coming. And once we have all those creative ventures and those positive ventures in wealth and abundance, the love is going to follow and it's just going to make us so beyond happy. It's like ridiculous. So here's the actual message from the elevation. This is crazy, guys. In order to live a fulfilled life of complete happiness and enjoyment, you first must become mindful of how you perceive the world and your place in it. What you think has a tremendous influence on how your soul will experience life and its many diverse situations. As magnetic beings, our souls work perfectly within the law of attraction and draw to us exactly what we create with our thoughts. In order to elevate your soul, your mindset may need to be spiritually alerted. Love is the greatest healing energy source there is. And by using it properly, you can instantly change your life and your circumstances. Begin by setting the intention of raising your consciousness. Second, be mindful of the tone of your thoughts. Then, finally, let go and let the universe do its part. A lot of us have a hard time with that. 
<clears throat> Commune with nature, take a walk through a forest, dance in the ocean waves, or go out and garden. Through these activities, your mind is brought into an awareness of the oneness of the natural world. Assess the people in your life. Are they elevating or draining your energy? Become aware of your purpose in life and live it one day at a time. Elevate someone else's life with joy, for it is in giving that you receive. Forgive others and clear that energy, transforming it to pure love, knowing that you cannot force anyone to be something they are not. Above all, have fun and delight in your journey. Do I even need to say anything else, fellow Pisces Collective? Do I even need to say anything else? Like, honestly, they know what we need to hear. Like, I literally, I, I kid you not, I was sitting here and I'm like, can I just do like a love spread? You know, I said, I really want to do like a love spread, you know, for my fellow Pisces, kind of give them some insight of what's coming and blah, blah, blah. They didn't let me do it. It, it literally was like, no. We want you guys to focus on elevating yourselves, transforming yourselves, because now is the time where we have to put that love into the world like we're supposed to be the nurturers, be the carers, do all that stuff, okay? And the abundance is coming. And then once all that wealth and prosperity come, because, hey, we're supposed to pay it forward. And us Pisces, we're like the first ones to pay it forward. We're the first ones to pay for somebody's drink behind us without them knowing about it or paying for somebody's toll through a bridge or whatever, we're like the first ones to not even hesitate to do that because of the fact that we're nurturers and, you know, care, all that stuff. So they want us to remember that the wealth and abundance is coming. That needs to come first before the elevation and the love come in. And once that all happens, we have to pay it forward. We just got to keep going, pay it forward, and then we'll be good to go, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this message. I hope it resonates with some of you. I know that it resonated with me for sure. Being a fellow Pisces, it's definitely what I'm going through at the moment and what I'm working on. So just as a collective, I know that we're all going through this. So leave me a comment. Let me know. I hope you enjoyed. It was just a quick little, you know, reading, but eventually they'll let me get a love reading in, guys. We'll see. I keep working on it. I love you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this bonus video, and have a great day.